do 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 the busted button. Hey everyone, this is Josh with the Busted Button. And for you guys that don't know, me and my wife Kelly are a resale team. We buy items from thrift stores, garage sales, just about anywhere we can. And we sell those items on eBay for a profit. One of our viewers asked us how we take photos for pants. So I'm going to show you that right now. This is the quick and easy way. We've sold hundreds and hundreds of pants on eBay, and this works for us every time. So the first thing I'm going to do is set my camera to square mode. And you've seen me do this before. Square mode is what you need to set on your camera. I'm going to take that first picture, which is going to be the cover picture. And then the next thing that I do is I come right over here and I flip these legs over just like that. That way you can get in, the, in this next picture and I'll pop these pictures up right above on the screen here or below. The reason you take this picture is so you can show that there's no fraying or if there is fraying, on these legs. The idea with these photos is to be as transparent as possible because you don't want these people, you don't want people sending these back. So after I take that picture, I take these jeans and I flip them over on the table and I'm gonna get a picture now from about mid thigh up. So I'm gonna lean over, take my picture and I'm gonna flip these around and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the back. And this is the point, if you want to, that you can take pictures of some accent marks. Sometimes you want to get something like this Carhartt logo in there. So I'll take that picture. And then I'm going to flip these back around again. And I'm going to get another picture of the tag. And this one, this is when it comes in handy to have a pointer, some kind of a stick or a pointer. So what we do is we're going to unroll this and I'm going to put that right there to hold down that tag. So I don't get my fingers in the picture. And I'm going to take that picture and you can see that these are 50 32. And this is the reason why it's so important to take measurements because that tag says 50 32, but these jeans are actually a 24 inch waist, which makes them a 48. They're not a 50. So that's why that's important. So I'm gonna take that picture, put that in my listing, and then I'm gonna turn it this way and do the exact same thing. I'm gonna get my inseam picture from crotch to seam. And that one is 32, so that's good. So I'll get that picture. The only other picture that I can think that you might want to add, especially on women's jeans, is the rise of the jeans. So all I do is go from the crotch to the top hem up here, to the top hem, and take that picture. And that's it. And really, you don't have to do anything fancy. This will work every time. Make sure you put the measurements in there. That way you don't get a bunch of questions. Hey, we really appreciate you guys watching. And please, in the comment section, make a comment if there's another uh, type of photo you want us to do. If there's another, another article of clothing you want us to try, please, by all means, say something in the comments. We appreciate the support and stay tuned for the next video.